Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this class we are going to discuss about spirometry. So far we discussed about lungs, its architecture and uh, how exactly the gas exchange takes place and also oxygen diffusion all, and as well as carbon dioxide diffusion. So now there is uh, something called a device uh, regarding uh, one device we are talking about that is spirometry. The spirometry is nothing but diagnostic test that measures the function of the lungs. Okay. So to measure the function of lung, the, how the whether the function uh, lungs are functioning normal or not, we are having spirometry. So if you recall, it's a trend, okay, or you can say it is designed. The syllabus is designed in a way that we spoke about brain. We also spoke about the engineering application, which was fascinating discovery that EEG. So we can calculate the. I mean, what you say? We can understand the brain activity okay same thing went for heart we had ecg understanding so here the similarly for our lung we are having something called spirometry so that it can you know detect the or it can uh, what you say it can uh, tell us whether the lung is functioning normal or not so spirometry is nothing but a diagnostic test that measures the function of the lungs that means whether the lung is functioning normal or not so by how it functions by measuring the amount and flow rate of air that can be exhaled so that means how much amount of air can is been exhaled by a person and also the flow rate of air how fast it is moving understanding initially how much that is quantity next flow rate speed of the air how speed it is going that means exhalation how we are going okay like this for example i will do so whenever i am exhaling so the amount of uh, the rate the flow rate which is coming and how much uh, the gas which i am taking it out okay so that will give us the uh, so based on these two factors the spirometry works and with the help of these two things uh, by measuring the amount and the flow rate we can directly tell that the major, the lungs are uh, working properly or not. Okay, so in this spirometry and the, and the device, we can discuss more in this class. So in this spirometry, and the, now no matter what you have, you must see that you have to design more than that. If for example, we have the organ health TV, organ body health health TV, that means engineering applications, in all these organ related, that is not discussed more than that. That is what your syllabus is doing. So, in the each brain work is study more than the EEG work more than the and the brain is the activity detect more than the EEG more than the area and the next to heart work is study more than the amal ECG discuss more than the correct 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 so other than that we have optical cataract other than that eye detection or well other correction or well more than the optical correction or lens materials other than that we have done other than engineering application other than that Iwaga lung bagi discuss mata itu. So lung bagi discuss mata itu engineering application ni, enala agi ni lung related. Ada mana nama untuk explain mata itu. Ada lagi satu untuk device yang dia nampi buat itu, aduh spirometry. So spirometry yang dia ni, aduh aduh untuk diagnostic test. So aduh test hek mata itu, aduh aduh ni mana function, ni untuk lung kelas mata itu itu mana dah na head itu. Aduh hek head itu, aduh yerdu property na aduh major mata itu. Yerdu things na aduh major mata itu. Ia ni lah, ibu ni o यावा का नहीं हो, उस रात वाला, यावा का गाड़ी ना हरगड़े बिठते रहा लामो किंदा, हाँ ता, तो आवा का ये स्टो अमाउंट हो, गाड़ी ना हरगड़े बिठी देरा, आमे ले ये स्टो स्पीड अली बिठी देरा, ओके, अमाउंट मतलब फ्लोरेट, अब तो ये, अदर में ले इधो निमस लंग वर्क आता है ये प्रॉपर आगे ना हेड आते or disease and interstitial lung disease okay if any these four or three things are there for example asthma or COPD or interstitial lung diseases so or any kind of lung diseases you can say but mainly if to check whether the person has got asthma or not COPD is there or not or interstitial lung disease is there or not to test that we will use it as a diagnostic test so now you know what is diagnosis. Diagnosis in the sense to yes to what you should be telling by your uh, this thing. So that means diagnostic in the sense you are detecting the disease. Whereas therapeutic means you are treating the disease. 
So here to detect the disease we are using this test that's why it is called as diagnostics test. Okay, so it can be used for asthma, COPD and interstitial lung disease. So in general, so this is parametry of the diagnostic test. Diagnostic test is disease in the detect model is model. Diagnosis and rather. So our test to other yaw the color is model. Nam gain other asthma patient in the COPD is there, is one asthma is there, is one of interstitial lung disease is there, is one of the check model can ask parametry and use model TV. Next principle, what is the principle behind this parametry? It's very simple that we have already saw that uh, the uh, quantity of the air uh, that means uh, uh, and as well as flow rate right so here principle also sticks on to th that particular same thing phenomena so the principle behind this parametry is to measure the volume of the air that is exhaled from the lungs that means the quantity of the air which is taken out from the lung okay in a given time period that means within a one minute or within 10 seconds how much exhalation um, uh, you will be asked to do exhalation with the help of the, within that 10 seconds how much quantity of this particular uh, air is coming okay so that will be measuring that is called quantity in the sense value okay and that can be exhaled from the lungs at a given period of time by measuring the value which is exhaled spirometry can provide information about the functioning of the lungs so with the help of the the amount of the quantity or a volume of the particular air which has been measured we can say that the, uh, the whether the lungs are functioning properly or not and also it will tell you the ability of lungs to move air in and out okay so we learn how the principle and the principle uh, uh, again now in explain what is the data now exhale mode uh, quantity of air in your attack other than detect one of this parameter Amele at flow rate speed and detect money other may lung work at the other DCD is DCD and the other information could have so other in the specific principle here of the other though is this parametry in a measure mother the volume of air and the extra quantity of air okay other than a measure mother the other than a further day after that exhale mother other than a within a given period time period of time and the 10 seconds early yes to uh, here and now, a particular patient for that time and a one show that there any other mele other than a measure body other in the bar one time other in the other in the other information for the way to work at the idea law at one lung in the ability is today uh guardian of organ of the organ of the s2 capacity there another another explain one of the that is principle next working so spirometry is performed using a spirometer okay spirometry is a, a technique I mean, which is a test that has spirometer will is a device. Okay, so spirometry is performed using a spirometer, a device that consists of mouthpiece, that means you need to keep it in the mouth, a flow sensor because which will detect the speed of the air which is coming in, and then value sensor that means how much volume of the how much quantity of air which is being exhaled. Okay, so you are having three things mouthpiece, flow sensor, and value sensor. Now the patient is asked to exhale. So first when you go and sit, it will ask you to exhale. You need to exhale like that. Okay. When you are going to exhale from the mouth, okay, the how much over the possible air is coming into the through this particular uh, spirometer, it detects the value because we are having the volume sensor. It detects the flow because it is we are having the flow sensor. Understanding? Now you get the volume and flow. Now the volume of air exhaled is displayed on a graph. Now the graph will be plotted. Now the graph will be plotted on two things: flow, value, loop. That means how much flow is there and how speed the particular this thing is coming in a loop. So which provides the information about the lung lung function. Okay, understanding. So work here, my dear, under spirometry. Spirometry only. Spirometry under that technique. Test diagnostic test. Spirometer under that device. Okay, that. So this device only. Now we more component under that. One do mouth piece. So that do bile half or like that do exhale mode. Okay. In that do flow sensor under that. Okay, under rate of so horgade is to speed only. Car horgade birth time under that. Next in that do value. That is to quantity birth time under that detect mode. Okay. Now we have two sensor side. That is flow rate. That is quantity detect mode. Okay. So there are two sensor side. That is mouth piece. Okay. Okay, na. So, if you have excel model, the patient excel model, then, if you have volume sensor, volume and the measure model, then, flow rate sensor, flow rate and measure model, then, with the help of, either in the name, flow, volume, loop, see that, then, that graph will be plotted. So, this is the image of 
spirometer. So this is the mouthpiece, okay, where we will be uh, patient will be asked to keep it here, and this is the wire which will be connected. So this particular this uh, mouthpiece will be there along with this. We are having the uh, sensors, okay. We are having quantity sensor or the volume sensor and as well as speed sensor or flow rate sensor okay with that we can say that the particular uh, here all the display it will be there later even you can print also within the graph okay that loop will be printed here so that we, with the available data it will tell you that particular for example for asthma there will be a different pattern that volume flow rate there will be a different pattern with the help of that it will tell you that the particular person will get uh, uh, got a uh, gets a, uh, asthma might be having asthma or COPD or any other lung related disorders okay so that's uh, and that was about the uh, spirometer next interpretation of results now we have to interpret the result how to interpret how to read the results how to understand the results now the results of the spirometer can be used to determine if the lungs are functioning normally okay and to diagnose the lung conditions and the, the, we are just telling that the whatever the results are there from the spirometer what we will get from with this device what will we get that will be used okay to, uh, that will be used to determine whether the, uh, the lung is working or not okay so now for example decrease in volume of air exhaled that means when you exhale and the patient exhale with the help of spirometer if the volume is less that means or if the decrease in flow rate if the flow rate is less obviously it indicates that restriction in airways that means you are not able to take out the air that means there is something restriction in the airways which can be a sign of lung conditions which can be the asthma or COPD that means airways might be having some issues for example you might be here uh, just go back to the diagram see here when you are taking out from here exhaling it when you are taking out the whatever the maximum capacity you are having the lung will shrink and it will give out all the whatever the things are there but since it is not coming okay so that means uh, the amount is what you are expected to be for a normal patient normal healthy person and the patient person if it is decreasing the volume volume or the flow rate is decreased that means this particular trachea or this particular uh, the airways respiratory tract or this particular airways are having some kind of obstruction that's why we are calling it coronary obstruction pulmonary disorder or disease okay or it can be the sign of asthma and that's how we can interpret the results of spirometry understanding so what we are explaining here is now results sick mele in the results interpret and read read the first line and the same thing now other the spirometry na use mark on do lungs do function work at the work at the and he got the tender example for the example and in a normal person into now data at the number yes to volume but the usually for 10 seconds again now for the day have the other already for the mother are they there even a healthy patient is a model care that a little data compare mark are a one very valuable decrease in the a significant decrease in the Flow rate is a little bit more than the COPD. If you have a restriction, you can see the COPD. So that's how we are going to interpret. Okay. So that's it. Uh, next topic uh, we are having the abnormal lung physiology that is COPD. That we will discuss in the next class.